Hey all, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are planning the currently page in my Catch All Happy Planner for August and I'm going to be using the wellness sticker book for this one. So this year each month I've been working on one of the seven habits of highly effective people. I read that book quite a bit. Not like always all at once, but back and forth. So this month it is Think Win Win, which I think is perfect for going back to school. Um, so Think Win Win. There's actually a couple different thought processes here. First of all, um, in the book they talk about how, um, you know, there's four different options. There's Win Win, there's win-lose, there's lose-win, and there's lose-lose. And I will say I probably find myself typically doing the um, uh, lose-win. Like if someone else can be happy, then I will tend to kind of back away. But I've been working really hard late the la really the last few years, ever since I started reading the books on the thinking with the win-win mindset of it doesn't just have to be you and it doesn't just have to be me. It can be we and we can have something so much better than what we originally thought. Let's go ahead and write think win-win. I'm using my Sharpie pen. No, my dog Sharpie is not named after the pen. I don't think anyone's guessed why he's named Sharpie yet. Alrighty, Rue. So there are four different like things as I was talking about before, kind of mindsets. Um, let me see if I can find a good, some good boxes to use. I've got this one and this one. I know I've cut some boxes up too, so. And those two, that would be fun. I think we might try that. So we got one, two, three, four. It's too bad I don't have a gray one. Oh, I've got big ones too. One, two, not in the purple, of course. Three, four. But I do have four different colors. I think we'll do that. All right. That way we can write a little bit of, you know, what each thing is. Well, am I going to have enough space for that last box? I think I will. I think I can make it work. Let's see. We might have to shuffle some things around. I guess we could put it down here. It would cover up the heart, but that's not a horrible thing. Okay, let's see something. Rearrange. Oh no, that one ripped. Okay, that's the sticker's way of saying, nope, that's where it stays. I don't want to put something else down there. Let's see, can we fit you? Let's see. Let's 
Oh no, it's ripping. Nope. Sticker says stay. All right, so we gotta make it work. It happens, and that's okay. See what we can do. I think we're gonna have to go here. Changing the plan. Changing it up. What does Bob Ross say? Happy little mistakes? He doesn't. He says happy trees, but it's okay. We can put what I was thinking about putting here, we can put there. Not a huge deal. Right? Just go with the flow. If the sticker says it's going here, it's going here. Ooh, I want to use that. This direction. So and think when when. So let's talk a little bit about this. <clears throat> so first one is win win. Win lose. Lose win and then lose lose all right so win win most important things you want to remember with this one is abundance mentality meaning So you have to stop when I talk, meaning that there's enough for everybody. We can all get something we want or create something that's even better than what we both originally thought of. Thus, we're all getting good things, right? So it's not that there's, he talks about it as a pie. And when we get to this one, this one is really both of these are, but this one for sure is um, scarcity. If I didn't spell that right, I'll respell it later. See? Scarcity mentality is there is only so much pie and I want as much as I can get. Thus the I win, you lose. Okay? Lose win. I always view lose win as kind of the, like, I'll back off. I'd rather you win then I win and you lose. Like, I feel like I fall here a lot of times when I can't get the win-win. Like, I'd rather lose so that you can have more pie if we can't both have enough pie. So, I don't wanna say backing down, but that's kind of what I think of. Like, maybe we'll say backing off. And it's not really compromise either. This is not a compromise. This is letting someone else have their way. Which is not always a bad thing, by the way. There are positives and negatives to all of these. Well, there's really not a negative to that one. Um, there are positives to these two, but there's also negatives. This one is like almost all negative but sometimes that's the only way you can go. <clears throat> excuse me um like I said letting others have their way is not always a bad thing if the subject is not that important to you this could totally be a viable option lose lose a lot of times this is compromise and have you ever noticed that in compromise a lot of times you have to give up something and they have to give up something sometimes that's the only way it can work and that's okay <clears throat> but the goal should always be this guy right here, okay? Go back to this. So enough pie. 
for R. My pie. <laughs> Your pie. <laughs> So I'm laughing for this one because, all right, I've said it a couple times, I'm a music teacher. And there's a song that I use for a warm up called Oh My No More Pie. So this one's gonna be No Pie. And a sad face, oh, no pie. Like I said, compromise is not a bad thing. Compromise is just a different thing from abundance mentality, okay? Usually in a compromise, you both have to let go of something. Whereas in a win-win, you both end up getting what you want or something better. Sometimes that's hard to comprehend. Like, I have a hard time with that. This is why this is a good one for back to school. Now, in my classroom, we're going to work with this in the sense of, like, one of my big ideas for this year is student voice and them having more voice in the classroom. So in that sense, if I can really function at this level, which is hard sometimes, um, that means not only do I get what I want in the sense of they're learning music, they're getting the skills that I think they need in music to be um, tuneful, beatful, and artful, but they're also learning how to voice their opinions within music and how to listen better to music and so we're both getting something out of it um a lot of times and it's just kind of i think the process we've all grown up with is sometimes it's win lose in the sense of i need you to do your homework and we don't always give them a reason why i'm not saying you always have to give a reason why Sometimes, depending on the age group, it's more of a, we'll get to the why later, but right now do it. So it feels more like this. So there you go. Also, this is great for staff development because how many times, and it doesn't matter where you work, do you go in and there's always some people who their idea always trumps everyone else, either the, because they're the loudest voice in the room, um, or they're just, you know, that personality that they're going to win. That's what's going to happen. They're going to win. You're going to lose. I have a hard time with that because I've always been a competitive musician. Because th if you think about it, for those of you who are not, who didn't play an instrument or maybe didn't have that environment, um, back starting in middle school with the cello, you had contest um, every year uh, through through high school. Um, oh, Sharpie's on the prowl. Um, you also have like chair tests where, you know, for orchestra, it decides where your placement is in the orchestra. So I was highly competitive because I always wanted to be the best. And that was one of the few places where my competitive nature really came out. So a lot of times I'll fall back into this and I have to remind myself, no, 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 no. Music doesn't have to be a competition. In fact, it really it really shouldn't be a competition. Um, there's nothing wrong with competition, by the way. But it's just one of those things of, especially right now, we need to make music to make music. Not make music so I win something. I hope that makes sense. There's one more little caveat to this that I want to put in. And it's something that is probably harder to do because you might feel pressure. I'm going to use this purple square box here because it really goes with win-win. I love dot grid paper. I don't always line it up perfectly, but man, it's so nice. So there's also technically a fifth one, which is win-win or no deal. Sometimes it's better if you can't find the win-win 
to not go for the win-lose or the lose-win or the lose-lose. Sometimes it's better to table it for now. And having the personal strength to walk away can be super hard um, because it's very easy, especially for me, to, like I said, fall back into these guys. So this is kind of my reminder of think win-win. Enough pie for all. It's okay to walk away. Like I said, there are times where these things, they're just going to happen and it's okay. But the focus is on think win-win. All right, I think that is all for this spread. It's not super decorative. I wanted it to be more wordy, I guess, um, and just kind of keep with this theme of really focused on. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. If you want to know more about the seven habits, I'm going to be talking about this a lot this year between my teacher planner and this one. Um, I'll link to Amazon uh, where you can get the book. You can get the book anywhere though. Um, I don't, it's not an affiliate link. I'm not that cool yet. Um, <laughs> but it's a link that way you know where it's at. Um, and I will see you in the next one.